Kevin Carter is making health a priority. Good morning. So he can stay strong for his community. I'm 60 years old. You know what I'm saying? I have atrial fibrillation. I'm a little bit overweight. So I have to pay attention. The co-founder of the Poor People's Campaign in Sacramento is advocating for COVID-19 prevention in communities most at risk. It's important, you know, for the black and brown community to make sure that we have health care. Pushing for the testing clinic in his Oak Park neighborhood. Everything is out of Cal Expo, but people cannot make it to Cal Expo, and we need something in the, in the community. Dr. Jan Murray Garcia, UC Davis School of Nursing, has been devoting her career to closing generations of public health inequities. That script was written 80 or 90 years ago. Explaining the lack of access to health care traces back to racial redlining. South Oak Park, Meadowview, and then Del Paso Heights Highland area. Those are areas where there are a lot of Latinos and African Americans and um, high concentrations of poverty. Communities at higher risk of contracting the virus. Blacks and Latinos tend to be at the bottom in the service areas. So lowest wages, um, less flexibility, less time off for illness if they have any of that. Ironically, that's not where the testing was concentrated initially. That's changed in the last couple of weeks, but it, it was not those neighborhoods. The UC Davis Center for Reducing Health Disparities explains these gaps translates to Latino and black communities meeting COVID-19 with underlying health conditions. They have uh, uh, chronic diseases at a higher uh, rates than the rest of the population. Diabetes is a case, obesity, uh, hypertension. Go to the registrar and she'll get you fixed. Okay, thank you which is why advocates like Kevin get tested not only for themselves, but for their community. We had opportunity to bring the awareness and wake people up, you know, to let them know that this is not something that's just going to go away. You need to pay attention. In Sacramento, Vicki Gonzalez, KCRA 3 News.